Hello, welcome back to the channel, and we're going to Burton Road. Way back a year ago. Hello, welcome back to Tap Thursday, and we're going to Burton Road Tap. So, we've got Burton Road's Pale Ale, and we've got Burton Road 1908 Pilsner. Now, ooh, which one do I want to do first? Um, let's go for the Pilsner. So let's put that away until I come back to that. So the 1908 Burton Road Brewing Co. Pilsner. Um, I've had this before. I enjoyed it, but I've not reviewed it. I don't think I've reviewed it. I may have done it on a, a live or something, but I've not reviewed it. Um, Burton Road, go and check out my Modern Mondays to Burton Road Brewery. Uh, all the info on there. Um, what's it got? Well, let's let's pour it. Let's pour it. See, I don't think Burton Road give a lot away on the cans again. Uh, a bit like cloud water and that. Um, so let's get it in the glass so we can see it. Give it get the aroma and then get the taste. I've done it into like the the old pint pot. Well, not a pot, is it? Pint glass. I can get it all in there. There you go. Burton Road, Brewing Co. Look at the can out. I'm sure, certainly do, have uh, their beer at one of the uh, the football grounds. Um, I don't mean like United or. Oh. You know, the blue one. Um, but I'm not too sure where it is. But I'm sure they've got, they, they have their beers at uh, one of the football grounds locally in Manchester. Anyway, so, slight, no, that's chill haze. But it has got a haze to it. Definitely got a haze to it, even though it's got a slight chill haze on the glass. So it's straw, low carbonation, not really much head to speak of at all. Maybe if I swirl it a little bit, it might get a bit of a head but it's a pilsner i don't expect a huge head on the pilsner um aroma malty slight fruitiness as well there but no not fruity floral more floral than it's fruity to be honest if it is any sort of fruit it's like a pear it's like an aroma of like a pear okay then cheers let's get the taste it's really clean it's really crisp and it's really easy drinking. What percentage is this? Four point three percent. It's floral, and it's got this real slight fruit note there, but it's more floral. It's got a nice, I'd say, quite low bitterness for a pilsner, um, but it's got a lot of malts. You got like it's nice, sweet bread malt just running through the palate. And that's really, really pleasant. That's really nice. And it's drying, crisp and dry. Straight away now, I'm like, I need to go back. I'm going to go back. Carbonation's good. Not overly carbonated. It's not fizzy. It's not fizzy, fizzy water, put it that way. I like that malt's lovely. It's a nice, it's a nice sweet malt, I'll tell you. It's really good. Um, the carbonation is okay. It's, it's low to medium. Mouthfeel, you know, it's it's a light mouthfeel. It's not thick. You wouldn't want it thick, really, would you, for a pilsner? But it's so un unbelievable, or unbelievably drying. The, my mouth now again is dry, and it just makes you want to go back and back. It's really easy to drink. It's a, it's a good beer. It really is a good beer. This um, the can out's fantastic. Burton Road Brewing Co. Small little independent craft brewery they are. Um, ingredients is on there. Doesn't say what's what like what they are, as in the hops and stuff. Uh, Burton Road Brewing Co. Unit 65, Manchester. And uh, drink responsibly. And yeah, 440 mil can. And you can find them. I know you can find them at Burton Road Brewing. Co. Uk. And they've got the the website up and running now. So uh, I think when I did them on a Monday, it might not have been up and running. Uh, but it shows you the, the different styles of beers we've got there. And this this one's on there. This is currently retailing at 3.35 a can on their website, which isn't bad at all. 
440 ml can, 4.3%. First attempt at Bill's now using Sars hops and a big malt base gives a slight sweetness and dry finish. Easy drinking and not too strong. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah. So that Sars hops, I'm getting a lot of floral notes from them Sars and that's getting a little bit of pear um, from that. But yeah, it is really drying and it is easy drinking. So, yeah. So what I'll do now, I'll go and finish this. We'll come back and we'll try the pale ale. Hello, so we're back with the pale ale. So what's it saying here? What maybe this is four percent, five hundred ml bottle. Um, <clears throat> let's see if this is on their site. Uh, ooh, they've got a Simcoe pale. Ah, this is the one. So this is three three fifty five hundred ml bottle. I won't read anything else because it might have something about the tasting notes. Just give me a minute because I need to get a bottle opener. And we're back with bottle opener. So let's crack it open. Get it in the glass. I can't remember. If these bottles are bottle conditioned. Whoa! A little bit lively. It could be bottle conditioned then. There's the answer, eh? <laughs> Let's get it in the glass. So it's lively, so mm, maybe it is bottle conditioned. If it is bottle conditioned with that amount of foam, then it's already kicked up. Okay, so you know what? doesn't look too dissimilar from that Pilsner I had. Just slightly darker, so it's more straw going on to golden colour. Actually, even though it, it wanted to escape the bottle, carbonation's not roaring up at all. It's just got a nice, moderate carbonation flow in there, which is good. Little white head on there. Doesn't look like it's going to hang around, but that might be because it just went kicked up in the bottle so normally that happens it doesn't really hang around in the glass because the carbonation just was already sort of gone um so yeah looks okay slightly hazy let's get the aroma this is malty as well nice maltness that malt, malt notes sorry toffee as well slight caramel so it must i don't know if it's got any like caramel it smells like a bitter A sweet fruit note on the nose but the malt is quite forward i don't mind that that smells pretty good to me to be honest okay cheers let's get a taste okay malts 100 percent. so you're getting a nice malty marisotta type malt going on there this is going to sound crazy you're getting like a black tea as well that's a nice black tea there's a slight bitterness a little bit of tanning then you're getting like an orange citrus as well but that tea tastes like a you know not a milky tea like a nice decent tea and you're getting like a you're just getting that that flavor to explain from from a tea I mean, it works really well i don't know what hops are in this i don't know if it's going to tell me on here because they're hard to pick out because you're just getting a little bit of like I say that black tea then you're getting a little bit of citrus but you're getting a lot of malt and that aroma that caramel you're also getting that's so like a bready caramel on the, the taste of the malts quite like that one as well that's nice that's really good um saying that I might say something on the bottle on this one let's see so it's pale ale four percent hundred mil no, it just says about the ingredients, water, malt, barley, uh, Burton Road Brewing, Burton Road Brewing Co, Unit 65, Manchester. So, there's a can out, the bottle out, sorry. Someone looks like chilling in a hammock. It's really good. It's good how they mix up between cans and bottles as well, quite like that. Um, so what's it say on the website here? Click on that, the pale ale. <clears throat> First beer in our story, our signature pale ale is sessionable and tasty. Clean, light and easy drinking. Yeah. Um, with a decent biscuity malt base. Means the beer works well when paired with food. Yeah, I'm saying bread, biscuit. Yeah. It is more malt forward. And I've got like that tea, taste and slight citrus. I'll tell you what, it's not a bad beer at all. And that caramel as well. 
It is, it's, it's an easy drinking beer. It's lovely. Yeah. Okay, well done, Burton Road. Burton Road. Like I say, I've only had a few beers. You haven't got a massive, uh, you know, you haven't got a massive uh, portfolio of beers. But uh, yeah, the ones I had so far have been really good. It's a nice little find, this one in Manchester. Okay, thanks for watching. Cheers, and I'll see you on the next one. I've been dreaming on in my head like I've seen it A life worth living is a life with meaning I'll do what I love till my heart stops beating